once again, everyone, we are, uh, we are back with more of that, uh, Dragon Quest Builders gameplay that y'all love so much. Let me, uh, get this shit out of the fucking way. Uh, put that, all right. Put some of this shit away. I'm gonna be so damn happy once I have a colossal coffer. It's not even funny. Anyway, as you uh oh. as you may or may not remember, we just got done curing yet another uh patient who's now in recovery. But Ranko, I sense an evil presence in the air. I fear this ominous aura is coming from a great host of monsters readying themselves to attack. What have we done to provoke this anger? They've never attacked us in such numbers before. We must do whatever we can to protect our town. Ranko, my lamb, will you be Rimaldar's shield and sword? Are you ready to drive off these marauding beasts? Hell yeah, let's go. I'm not sure how much help I can offer, but I'll do what I can. May the goddess watch over us. It's probably, uh, probably not gonna be that bad. Where the motherfuck is that? Um, ah! So they come from here, okay. My guess is that that uh that massive fucking bird we saw for a minute there was no less than the Hades Condor himself. Not sure why the hell he ran off. Victory! Ah, oh, shit, we got a teleportal. Boom, and another wave of light. Oh, we are delivered, all right. Ranko, the very thing I feared has come to pass. The monsters that assaulted our base did so at the order of the Hades Condor itself. It's clear that the beast knows the location of our infirmary and the town, too. We must be on our guard from now on. But still, it seems this cloud has a silver lining. I uh, hear you came into possession of a teleportal, young lady. With an artifact like that, you could travel to new lands and get your grubby little hands on all manner of fascinating materials. With that in mind, I've got a job for you. Though I may have conquered the poison plague that blights this land, that is not the only affliction we need to address. We must also find a cure for the paralytic sickness that reduces so many of our fellow Rimadarians to gibbering wrecks. You must travel to the prickly wilds, Ranko, and seek out the cause of this contagion. Have you got that? Travel through the blue teleportal and explore the prickly wilds. Search that forest from top to bottom and find out what's causing the paralysis that's spreading through the lot throughout the land. And with that, we got a new quest marker. Before we do any of that shit... Bet your ass, it's sleep time. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Ranko's mind. I am Erdrick. Hear me well, bearer of my blood, heir to my destiny. If you would reach the evil island visible from Tentacle's shore, you will require the three sacred artifacts. Gather them. And you may yet cross to that accursed isle and destroy the source of all evil. 
as I too did so long ago. Before my passing, I entrusted the three objects to the three great sages. If the fates have been kind, their descendants guard them still. When evil rules the ill-starred isle once more, gather the hollowed triad and strike a blow for the cause of light. No doubt, those of the line of the sages await you somewhere in this world. Seek them out. Blood of my blood, child of my children. Go forth and fulfill your destiny. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was her own memory or somebody else's, Ranko can't remember. And it's time for the next day. Now, as before, what we're going to do is build our, um, our teleportal room outside of the town proper. But before we do that, we've got some people. Whoa. Got some sick people here. Thank you so much for saving me. I feel a lot better now. When I got sick, I thought my time was up. I never knew that we could fight the blight and win. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Right, I've decided. I'm gonna stay here and help you make everyone better again. This is for saving me. Go on, take it. Oh shit, we gotta see the life. Let's uh use that right quick. And talk to our <laughs> I saw the light. I never knew there was a place like this in Remoldar. <laughs> Not that it matters now. <laughs> My name's Edsel. Nice to meet you and goodbye. And then drop. Let's put this motherfucker in the uh Infirmary. Just one moment, I gotta get the other one first. Hi, I'm Kian. I saw the light on the horizon and traveled day and night to get here. I've come from Hilius' place. I figured if I'm gonna cark it, I'd want to do it anywhere but there. <clears throat> and we'll just put this motherfucker in there, and, uh... No, 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 I... Oh! No? Why is... That's not how it works. Uh... Get the fuck out. Thank you. Lay down. So... We need water and a herb, but uh, I don't have a... I don't have anything to carry water around in, so... Let's get this one motherfucker his herb first. Um... Oh, go. go. Use. Okay, hopefully that guy um, will be all right. But how do we deal with water? Let's see here. Maybe that's a recipe we learned while in the uh, in the Prickly Isles. Gotta be, cause uh, sure as hell ain't here. Well, while we're here, we might as well build a uh, second chest. J-I-C, C-Y-A kind of deal. There we go. That Garantius really gets on my nerves. He's such an argumentative old geezer. Whatever you say to him, he'll always come up with some gloomy response or set off on one of his long-winded lectures. My granddad was carried off by the blight when I was little. But I remember him being the exact opposite of Garantius. He was always humming a happy tune and telling anyone who'd listen how he'd of how he dreamt of setting up his very own puff puff parlor. I don't really know what a puff puff parlor is, but one of these days I'm gonna set up my own one and make my grandpa's dreams come true. Ooh boy, if only you did know. Open this up. Let's set up a fucking, uh, set up a room so that, uh,
and get a few of these fucking people uh, situated. Okay. Five. And we have to build a third level for the whole place. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully we figure out how to move water around and soon. Okay. There's the third level, and now we can roof this place. Pop, pop, pop. There's something strangely peaceful about just laying these blocks down. Granted, the, uh... The fact that you're not going to get jumped by something like in Minecraft helps. And a bloody course we need more friggin... Ugh, why am I surprised? I'm, I'm going to need to collect more blocks. That's what's up. Well, at least we seem to be mostly done. I have to make a staircase around here. There. Give us enough space if we need to, uh, to build more, which of course we will. Alrighty then. Let's uh, put a foundation intact. Oh, more. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, let's put a, a place for a door there, place for a door there. Okay, where's that damn monster? I don't see it anywhere. Maybe these fucking idiots are finally pulling their own weight. I'm not going to uh, hold my breath, of course, but hey. I live in hope. Oh, there they are. Why is she trying to throw stuff through the damn wall? It's not the smartest knives in the drawer, are they? Let me just uh, open this up. Uh, put that there. Okay. Let me see if I can build a mattress. Okay, we got a mattress, so that's good. Um, can't make a door yet. Let's put the mattress in the small room that we have there. And we'll go and uh, get some materials. Boom. Put that there. And since it's getting dark yet again, bedtime. It sure gets dark quickly. That, that's. Whew. Boy, does it get dark quick.
Alrighty then. Now let's figure out where we're gonna put this fucking teleportal. Like I said, we're not gonna have it in the town proper. That's not the best idea. Let's put it off to the side here. Woohoo! Portal to another island. Let's start the room up. That should be more than enough for all three portals. In the meantime, however... Oh, shit. That did not take very long. Who are you? I'm Irvin. The light is so bright. I'm almost there, just a little closer. No, oh, no, no, we can't have you dying here. Let's take you to the infirmary. And we're going to put you in these, uh... Oh, boy. That one's still not cured yet. Lay down. No, I'm trying to use it. Thank you. Okay. His next thing will be the next day. In the meantime, though, let's get back to what we were doing. And here we are. And hey, look what we found. Actual damn wood. You know what that means, people. That means we can finally make the damn coffer. And it's only taken us until the third part of the Rimmeldar uh, game to do this. Get these damn sticks. Uh, get your ass, I'm going to stock up on this wood. Eat that. Let me double, like, shit. Let me double check the recipe for that uh, coffer. Okay. I still need fur. A pot I can make, that's not an issue. But we still need fur. Gotta figure out where the hell I'm gonna get fur from. Hopefully there's an enemy that's uh, common that'll let us uh, get some fur. We just, uh... Nope. Okay, we can't get that. That's cool. We'll just uh we'll just keep looking. And boom. Oh, we got a uh throw. fuck out of here. No need that. So hmm. Let's see if I can't chuck it somewhere. Items, let's chuck the boomus. Another lock with no, uh, no key. Hopefully we'll be able to open those later. Uh, hell, I forgot to put away those, uh, those slime puddles from the, uh, those last draws. Well, shit. Well. We'll figure it out at some point, yeah? Oh, look what we have here. Hmm. Well. There's certainly no lack of, uh... of crazy yellow plants. Alrighty then. Hey, look, a tree stump. 
Um, eh, we're good. Nothing we can make there. Instead, we're just gonna keep looking around. Bitch! That's a stinger. Not sure what the hell that's supposed to do. You about to find out though. Discard. Perilous stinger. Well. Oh, and that, and that's the source of our paralysis, these stupid flowers. Got to keep that in mind. Troy, who are you? Get out of here. Get out of the way you will. A killer pillar nest, this is. D -d Destroy it, we will. Just as soon as I can move again. I'm coming for you, killer pillars. I think he means that hole over there. Let's wait. That's one less hole. And these little babies sure, uh, sure die good and easy. Oh, crap. This guy will not die easy, I don't think. Ah, shit. Alright, bitch. Damn. Okay, that paralysis is becoming a pain... That paralysis is becoming a pain in my ass, straight up. Let me hit him. Shit. That ain't cool. Woo! Done and done. The King Killer Pillar is toast. Get out of here, we told you. Don't get in our way, we told you. But, but, but you wouldn't charging it anyway. Think you're so great, you humans do. I can't stand you humans, with your lack of patience and your funny colored faces. D -d Don't go thinking that we botkins owe you anything for this, hmm? Now go! G get out of here. I never want to see your funny colored face around here again, hmm? But you're a human. Why would you help us? Whatever your reasons, thank you, human. Hmm. Well, now that we're done, let's uh do that right quick. Now we're one step closer to finally having access to the damn coffers. Let me just uh, do this right quick. Let's make some wood. Oh! A sewing station. A wooden block. Wooden floor. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So let's put... Let me see if we have any room here. This away, put this away. Um, put this away. These porches, there's not, there's not really much use for those. Um, you plant the uh, the palm seedlings around here. You get some fucking trees going. Now that we have ourselves a wood resource, get the fuck out. Five, six, and seven. Ah, oh, Ranko, you're back. Tell me, did you find the cause of the paralytic sickness? 
What? The source of the infection was a nest full of killer pillars. Hmm. If it was the killer pillars who were behind it, then maybe, just maybe. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> so if they're venom acts like this, then we can catalyze the reaction like that and neutralize the active agents like the other. Haha! <laughs> I have identified the manner by which the paralysis spreads, and thusly, I have devised a cure. Let me explain it to you. Pardon? You want to know why I flailed my arms about? That's, uh, just part of the process. You of all people should understand. Haven't you seen what a fool you look like when you're building things? What a wonderful individual this guy is. And we now have Tingle Tablets. And a Full Moon Ring. And we get some more life. Let me see if we can make that, uh... The tablet. We need cards. So we need fish. That's gonna take a minute. Hey, look. Herbs and healing cream. Yeah, just, uh... Just pump... Just pump me full of that shit, man. That's what's up. No, no, no. Oh, uh, fuck. I'm running out of damn beds here. Um... Of course, I gotta deal with the ghosts. Alright, now let's, uh, pop into the bed before any more get here. Uh, of course, I can only sleep in a proper room. Because this game is full of shit! Let me see if I can at least make that door now. Oh! Not only that, I can make other type of doors. Let's stick with the, uh, the straw door for now. And... Let me grab the... Some torches from before, since I know we need a uh, light source. That's what's up. So now we can put this door. And a light source. Boom, we have an empty room. And thus, we don't have to deal with a whole bunch of ghosts anymore, which is always nice. Alrighty then. Of course. Now oh, it needs a fucking Tingle tablet. Hey, uh, Ranko. There's something I've been waiting, wanting to say to you, but maybe it's a bit blunt. I really want to tell you, but I get the feeling it'd make you lose your temper. If you promise you won't get angry at me, then I'll tell you. But if you can't, then I... Well, I suppose I won't. So, Ranko, you promise you won't get cross? Really? You promise? All right, then I'll tell you. Come on, Nosh, you can do this. Let's take a deep breath. I don't know if it's the disease or the darkness or the poisonous swamp, but this town sucks. It's so dull and depressing. I want to lie in the sun and... Roll around on the grass. I want to relax and have fun. I want to live, Ranko. Would you let me live? Woo! So, uh, Ranko. I was wondering if you could go and take a look around the Bodkins village for me. Most people call that place the Prickly Wilds, but the Bodkins have a village there, too. And what's more, I've heard a famous fisherman lives there. If only I could go fishing. That'd really brighten up my day. Go on, Ranko. Find this fisherman. Ask him how to make a fishing rod and make me one, please! Alright, let's go get this fishing rod for this man. As you've probably guessed, I don't particularly, uh, enjoy having multiple quests going on at the same time. I don't, uh, I don't like when games present me with a, uh, cluttered qu quest log. Especially with this one where you have to follow compasses and you don't know where the hell you're going half the time. 
Alrighty then. I forgot to drop... Why do I always do that? Go back. Got to drop the wood and the eggs off. Not to mention the torches. I'm not normally this scatterbrained, I swear, guys. <laughs> Alrighty then, we go back into the uh, work area. Drop off the eggs, drop off the wood, drop off the torches, and we are good. Now we have at least a little room, and hopefully we'll find some fur on the way. That'd be nice. All right, let's do this. Uh, no, I'm not going to chase the metal slime. It'll take all day. Metal slimes are among the more uh, cowardly creatures in Dragon Quest lore. They will see you. Maybe they'll attack once or twice, but uh, more often than not, they will run on sight. Ooh, grab that. Lumps of coal. Boy, my luck, we're going to need that later. Boom. All right, I don't want to sit here all day grabbing everything. Oh, fuck. You gotta go really slow around here. Otherwise, you're, the, you're gonna end up picking up fucking paralysis. Oh, I think I found our fur source. Come on. Fur! All right. Now we just need two more of those and we can make our colossal coffer and be done with this nonsense. All right. Now let's just complete this dipshit's quest. Wait. That's another one down. There's a room we can finish. Up, up. Um, we have ourselves a room. Good. Now let's... Uh, the book is titled A Passage to Tentacle, Volume 2. Would you like to read it? I can scarce believe this befouled land is truly Rimmeldar. Of all times, the great city sat atop a green and pleasant island, all girt about by a lake of bright blue water. Now I find not but a mire of fetid peat, littered with the corpses of the dead, of dead and rotting trees, all floating on a foul and pestilent swamp. The few people labeled a stomach life here seem to be falling to a mysterious disease that doth spread throughout the land. These meager few survivals struggle valiantly against this insidious sickness. However, I fear that without the power to create a cure, the efforts are all but in vain. So resigned are these people to their fates, they have forgotten that man ever had the power to battle sickness and disease. I know full well the tragic curse that befell us. I had never dreamt I would witness so miserable a sight. Each time I lay eyes upon the wretched faces of Rimmeldar, I am reminded anew of the frightful power of the Dragon Lord's wrath. What I would give to help these suffering souls in some small way. But I have my own mission, and I must see it through no matter the cost. Much though it paineth me, I turn my back on Rimmeldar and continue my journey north into Kol. Sir Reginald Augustus Brennus Kentlin Brigade of Gods. See if I can't make anything. Nope. Quest continues. Die, bitch. Let's 
see here. Down here. A tree stump. Hmm. I love fishing, I do. Oh, oh, I think I might have found what I need. Hmm. A human. A frightful color you are. Gone and got the blight, have you? Uh, no. Hmm? It's a bit rich coming from someone who's bright green, you say? <laughs> a funny one you are! Ah, but what brings you here, hmm? Hmm. Looking for a great fisherman, are we? You are. Found a great fisherman, you have. Or is it a fisher monster, hmm? Forgive me, human. I should not make fun of your funny face. To say sorry. Teach you how to make fishing rods, I will. But first, ask you a small favor, I must. Okay, Yoda. A few days ago, I caught a real whopper. Bigger than me, he was. But there was... But much anger there was in him. Once I reeled him in, he smashed up my walls. With holes in my walls, other budkins will see me fishing when I should be working. Fix these walls for me, and I can skive in peace. Hmm. Oh yeah, this, this guy is after my own heart. Pop this shit in here. Uh, here. Here. Let's, uh... Well... Long have we Budkins fought for the Dragon Lord. Newcomers to the dark side we are. Lost around by his other followers we are. Our lives are filled with anger, fear, aggression. If I did not have my secret fishing spot, I don't know what I would do. But if you had fixed up my hut, some peace and quiet I would get. Teach you how to make a fishing rod, I would. Um, is... Okay, I guess that he wants me to... To... Fix up the outside as well. Which means I need more, uh... Let's take care of that. One, two, three, four, and five. There. So let's, uh... Work on this dude's, uh... House. Boom! Done. Hmm. Wonderful job you have done. Now I can fish and fish without any budkin noticing. So, human, would you like to try it yourself? I don't know what it is about you, girl, but like you, I do. Fishing friends we are now. Hmm. But first, teach you to make a fishing rod I must. Then, and only then, a fisher human you will be. We now know how to make a fishing rod. Let me make look. Ah, my fishing... Hmm. Perhaps some hints I must give you. Train you in the arts of fishing will I? Hmm. Not well known, it is. But cast your line to the coast of the Trickly Wilds and catch some interesting things you can. Catch cod you can. And they are a real catch. Filled with incredible oil they are. Looks wonders for curing paralysis it does. If the tingle weeds and caterpillars are getting on your nerves with their tingly toxins, then a card you must catch, hmm? And remember, my friend, all about feeling fishing is. Test your line and when the bite you feel, pull it in with all the force you've got, hmm? But the most important thing, my fishing friend, is to fish, fish, and fish some more. Oh. Stone axe. Now we can make more uh, stone axes. Now we can make some more stone axes than the one we have. Bet your ass, I'm gonna get some more rocks. So now we can go home and finally, finally, build that damn, uh, that damn colossal coffer. Grab that egg. Mm, let's see here. Let's, uh, start climbing. See if we find any goodies. 
Hmm. Let's see how we do this. Yeah. That. This looks familiar. Yes, yes, yes. The item bag is full. And it looks like we need more. ourselves some good ones. But we're gonna have to get rid of something. Items, let's get rid of this oil. We have plenty of actually no, we don't need to do that. Place a couple more blocks. Oh crap, 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 crap. That's not what what I wanted to happen. Let's try that again. Open a world map. Okay, not sure what the hell I need that for. But whatevs. We'll put that in the chest. For now, though, let's, uh, get, ah, oh, crap. Hmm. Okay, that flag doesn't lead us to the teleportal. I'd really rather not, uh, use a wing as I'm not in any particular trouble. Of course, the ah, shit, the damn paralysis. Okay, looks like we're close. That's a good thing. Remember this, uh, what place? Running away! Wait, I think that's, yeah, that's it. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just, uh... I'm just running away. Running off like the world's biggest bitch. And we are back home. That's what's up. Uh, we just need a, uh... Quick snooze. Ah, oh, shit. In course. The infirmary beds. Done and dusted. That's what's up. All right, now let's put some of this shit away that I have room for my Colossal Coffer. Come on, people. Let's move. Ew. All right, let's build our coffer. I th oh, wait, I still need to... Of course, I would need a... Ah, uh, need earth. Damn pot. It's always something, as they say. Let's, uh, grab three earths. Make our pot, and then finally make our fucking coffer. Still working on that fishing rod, homie. Okay, let's make our pot. And our colossal coffer.
Boom. Now we have a lot of fucking room. Let's see what this dude wants. Wow, that was amazing, Ranko. After what you did to them, those monsters will think twice about attacking us again. Speaking of amazing, is it true that you're the builder? The one with the power to make new things? And not only that, you've got yourself a teleportal too. You can use that to travel to a whole new island. I bet you'll be able to find all sorts of new materials there, and come up with a load of great ideas for things you can build from them. But before you head off on your travels, Ranko, I was wondering if you could do something for me. This whole island is nothing but a stinking swamp, as far as the eye can see. No wonder people get sick drinking disgusting water like that. If we ever want to get better, we're going to need a source of fresh water. Fresher than what we've got at the moment, anyway. Could you build me a place like that? A room with at least ten blocks worth of water, a cup of pots, a wash tub, and a comfy stool to sit on. Oh, and a chest, too. That would make a perfect watering hole, don't you think? Well, we could take this chest, I suppose. Uh, we need... Ten blocks, you say. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a little more, but hey, who gives a fuck, right? Um, first, let's make this dude his fishing rod. Kind of losing the plot there for a minute. Uh, oh, of course, I would need something else. A frog stool. Let's go find a frog stool. It there should still be plenty around here. Let's get these beans and these eggs. Frog stools. That should not be a problem at all. Clearly, I'm going to need to make more than one. After all, I'm going to need one myself. Obviously, the frog stool is going to be around here in the uh, in the witch uh, grass fields. These fucking purple shits. Hmm. Let's see here. Lots of broken branches to be had. another uh there's a frog stool so now we have one and there's some more and let's grab all of them fuck it and while we're here let's finish up the room And pop. Um, why is this not... Oh, there we go. There's a room. The source of the poison that stains this land lurks not far from here. If only I could defeat that beast and recover its heart of darkness. I might be able to relieve the toxin's effects. But I fear that slaying the droll dalt defiler is beyond the capabilities of mere men. Hmm. Yeah... The Defiler didn't exactly put up much of a fight. And now that we have our Colossal Coffer, we can grab stuff pretty much without consequence. Let's just grab a whole bunch of these broken branches. That's going to uh, help us in the future. That's what's up. I'm going to cool some stalks. Alrighty then.
more stalks. Yep, that's right. Give it all to me. Now we go home to Rimmeldar. Looks like our trees are ready for harvesting. No, are they? Mm, I don't think so. Let's, let's turn around, see them from the back, but I don't think they're ready yet. I think they're supposed to be a tiny bit taller. Hmm. Actually, yeah, it does kind of look like they're ready. Let me see. Good, yeah, they are ready. Let's, uh... Make our lumber. First, let's make our two, um... One... Two. First, let's uh, replant our um, oh, we'll plant our trees here. That way, we have all the trees we could ever want. Now, let's go and uh, no. Let's try that again. Oh, hello, Ranko. So you've built me that fishing rod, have you? <laughs> yeah, that's great work. Now we can go fishing. Yay! Huh? Why aren't I more excited? Garantius told me that you're the builder, so rules don't apply. So the rules don't apply to you. But if our normals spend any time outside the village, we'll just end up getting sick again. Ah, this is the worst. All I want to do is take it easy and go fishing. Tell you what, Ranko, you keep that rod. One of us might be what is all enjoy it. Go and catch a great whopper for me, all right? Oh, he crying. That sucks. Well, at least I got some fucking herb out of it. Now let's focus on our construction. Six. Yeah, I have enough. Um, let's make us some wood. Where are the blocks at? Ah, oh, there we are. Wooden wall. That's what we want. Ten wooden walls. Ooh. Wooden cladding. Let's, uh... Turn this into some more... into some more, uh... wooden wall. Now we have 40 wall. Let's put our, uh... Put that there. Okay, we are, uh... Setting up. I can already tell we're going to have a uh, more monsters. Where the hell are they? Oh, hammer hoods. That's a sub. That there. Ugh, ghost. Thank you for dying with us, asshole. And we are up again. Alrighty then. 
get some more wood. Let's put some of this crap away. Oh yeah, it's the chest. We gotta put the chest in that room. What the hell am I doing? And while I'm here, I might as well cook the rest of these uh these stools. Remember, it's always good to have a lot of food on hand. There we go. Let's see if they've made any here. Ain't much, but hey. Hmm. All right. Let's put crap in our colossal. One, uh, yeah, it's all right. In fact, let's start moving things to the colossal. That way, uh, that chest there can be used by our loyal NPCs to put crap in that they make. Okay, let's uh, put this crap away. Actually, while I'm here, let's delete these dilapidated crates because we sure as hell ain't gonna use them. Another one. I don't know why I'm opening the, the coffer in world. It's not like I have to. Eh, force of habit, I suppose. We've been playing with that chest for hours. And, uh, <clears throat> with that, the chest is now freed. Let's get busy, shall we? Okay, what else did we need? Okay, yeah, of course. Um, a comfy stool, a wash tub, and a chest. And two pots. Two pots. So we just need the wash tubs, chair, and the pots. Pots should be easy. I can get the stuff from here. There we go. Let's make a pair of pots. Put them in our watering hole. Okay. That's one. And two. That's what's up. And... Wash tubs. What do we need for the chair? We need wood. That means we need to go back out. Get some. Put a pot there. Put a pot there. Put a wash tub here. Put a wash tub here. Now let's go look for some wood. And let's finish it up. Do this. Mm. Uh, 
so many beautiful trees just waiting to be knocked down. All right, palm lumber. You're mine. Okay. That's ten. Sorry about that. Alrighty then, that is a lot of fucking wood. Grab just a little more. There we go. Now we have some more saplings we can plant. Gonna have to find somewhere to put all that. But that's for later. still at the stage where uh, it is acceptable to have them out in the uh, in the town proper <laughs> sorry about that all right let's make this uh let's put the cotton away along with the lumber Let's do this. Um, yeah, that's those. Let me, let's make three of these. And the rest of these can go into wood blocks. Wood wall. Now make 30. While we're here, we'll plant some more of these friggin' trees. Hmm. Let's put them here. Out of the way. That's what's up. And boom. Now we can put our uh, our little watering hole together. For now, that should be more than enough, I think. Uh, and a straw door. Shit. Wait. We got oh, hell we have but stool in yet. Derp. Derp. Okay, I guess we still need a light source, so let's uh take care of that. There we have a bonfire. That's plenty light. And boom. Watering hole. That's what's up. Wow. What a watering hole. It's just like I asked for. Thanks, Franco. My granddad always used to say, if you want a clean bill of health, you gotta wash in clean water. Most of the water around here all smells like something you'd find behind a boss troll's ear. It's disgusting. But now that we've got our very own watering hole, we don't have to drink that horrible slimy water anymore. If you had something you could scoop the water up with, you could serve it to the bed-bound patients or even use it to cook with. Hmm, something to scoop up water with. Hey, you're the builder, right? Surely you'll come up be able to think of something. Hey, cool, we got more lumber. That's awesome. And just in time, too. Bucket. So let's, uh, back to the bench. 
Oh, that's easy. Didn't even need to use our lumber. But of course, we're going to make more wood anyway. Um, oh, yes, the other two... Uh, the two stools here. The here and here. Cafeteria. That's what's up. Hopefully that'll give us uh, access to even more food. Let's see here. Uh, wooden wall. And wooden cladding. Which will allow us to make more... Um, to make our existing structures into wood. Which we will uh, do now. Of course, I still need to make flooring. Oh! Base is level three. That's what's up. Ah, hell, I missed a piece. I hate when that happens. Ah, yeah, well, can't be helped, really. That there. Take care of that issue. And bed. Well, like we're, uh, we're an hour in, and these trees are ready to be harvested, so let's do that before anything else. That's right. All that shit. Put them over here now. That way they remain out of the way. And make all that lumber into some wood. And wooden floor. And we now have wooden flooring kits. Which will allow us to convert the floors of our uh, of our current structures. Let's get that done. One, as you can see, it helps build the uh, the point values for our uh, for our various rooms to have them built of better materials. So that's what we're doing here. That's what's up. Do this from the inside. And hey, look at that, we're already at level four.
Hmm. I don't want to change those top ones just yet. Then we'll add some floor here. And some floor here. Don't want to do that to the watering hole. Like the natural look that has. Anyway, let's deal with this. Uh, put those kits away. Along with the wood, of course. And let's use our bucket. So you have to actually get in the damn water to do it. And when you do that, water becomes an item. I'm coming. Here's your water, homie. That to help, homie. Now we gotta uh, make our buddy uh, some tingle tabbies. Oh. What, if you don't sit your ass down? Oh, look. Come on. And he's dead. Let's see what this guy wants, shall we? If there's one thing I'm good at, Ranko, it's making the best of a bad situation. Things aren't even all that bad. You got a fishing rod after all. If you got a fishing rod, you can catch it. You can catch fish. And if you can catch fish, you can eat them. What do you say, Ranko? Will you catch me some lovely fish to eat? What's that look for? It's like you're trying to beam the words what a hassle right into my brain. I'd go and catch the fish myself if I could, but that weird old geezer won't let me leave the town. Will you do me this one favor, please? All you have to do is head out with your fishing rod and catch me five sardines. That's a lot of damn sardines, homie. Instead of using one of those flooring kits for that one block, better to just do that and grab that earth. Let's put some of the earth up top here. We're going to be flattening that up in a minute anyway. And on that note, we're going to call it a uh, an episode. Let's overwrite that dar save. And boom. That's what's up. I thank you all for uh, hanging out tonight. I know I've had a lot of fun. I hope you have too. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think, what you think about the show in the comments. And uh, have a great one. God bless you.